Okay. <laughs> okay. So I've just got back from cats. This is a very, very weird movie. To be honest, I had no interest in seeing it. Um, I wasn't really a fan of the musical. I thought it had some okay-ish songs, one or two, I guess. But nothing prepares you for the horror. I decided to take my friend. Uh, he thought we were going to see Star Wars. He was uh, cat's fished. And when he came out, he said, uh, I feel like I've been violated, but thank you. It's quite possibly the best cinematic experience that I've seen all year. And I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I've waited 42 years for that, and nothing compares to Cats. Everyone should go and see it. Shh. I, I can't believe it exists. I can't believe it exists. There's so many things. The, the horror that you've seen in the trailers, yeah, that's real. Um, they, where do I start? Where do I start? It's not a bad film. It's not a bad film, it's not badly made. It's just that I think inherently the, the concept is so odd. It's like, what is Cats the musical? It's people dressing up as cats, uh, singing songs. Is there a plot? No, but that's okay. We'll give you a hundred million dollars. Yeah, a hundred million dollars. Why? And there's a weird kind of like sexual element to it where they all sort of rub up against each other and uh, you know, when, when they wanna give thanks to each other, they do a weird kind of neck muzzle thing, nuzzle thing. They do a weird kind of neck nuzzle thing. Um, and so at some points, you know, you'd see like Dame Judy Dench and another girl cat and you just sat there going, please don't snog, please don't snog. Um, where do I start? Uh, Oh, the sets keep changing, the environment, just so it's like every three seconds. And the fact that that's not the weirdest thing, or that's like not at all the weirdest thing in the movie, says something about the movie. Um, everything changes. At one point, they're all dancing on a one edge of a train track which makes them about three inches big um, other times they're as big as a table why um, the faces don't quite fit onto their heads occasionally like you're watching some weird deep fake um, the singing is good I guess the uh, it's such a visceral performance just it's like they're so committed they're so committed to realizing this vision but the vision in itself is imagine if um Kafka and William Burroughs had a baby um, and that baby grew up to be David Cronenberg, um, whom 
get stuck in a fever dream. That's cats. It's like, is that the pitch? Is that what they said to the studio executives? I don't know. How did it get made? So many things. This, I have so many questions. So many questions. Like, why is Taylor Swift the only cat to have breasts? When you see Idris Elba and he's wearing his, you know, smart jacket and hat, then that's cool. And you go, oh, look, it's Idris Elba. And then when he comes to do his dance number, he's completely naked. Completely naked. I wasn't prepared for naked Idris Elba. He... Uh, I, I, I can't cope with reality anymore. I don't know what is reality anymore. All I know is I, I don't think I want to look at a cat for a while. Um, there's... Why do some of them have shoes and some of them don't? Why are some of them naked? There's Jennifer Hudson, she's wearing a coat that seems to be made out of animal pelts. Are they other cats? What? Why? That's fucked up. That's screwed up. That's, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Uh, Dame Judi Dench acts like she's in Downton Abbey or something. There's so many tonal shifts. You can't keep up. It's just an onslaught. When you're introduced to Ian McKellen, he's lapping some milk from a saucer. Nobody needs to see that. Nobody needs to see Ian McKellen lapping saucers of milk. Make it stop. Please make it stop. But perversely, I, I just wanted it all to continue. It's like my tape, my, my grasp on reality right now is, is slightly broken. Like people say, you know, where were you when Elvis died? Or JFK got shot? Or I feel like my life is now broken into, well, people say, you know, your life is, there, there was life before, you know, BC and AD. I feel like it's now BC and AC, before cats and after cats. Nothing could ever be the same. When you look at their feet, some of them, it, the, some of them look like paws. Some of them don't, and yet they wear shoes. Do they have like a dew claw? I d These, so many questions. Um, Ray Winston turns up and is, is Ray Winston. Please, Ray Winston. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that as a cat. Um, there's no plot. There's, there's no plot. They just turn up and sing. Rebel Wilson turns up and she's dancing with mice with human faces that don't have any whiskers whilst eating cockroaches who are also dancing. I feel like I've transcended some kind of new plane of existence. How did this get made? It's just such a big, epic 
th it's so many creative choices you know were obviously taken to at what point are you the set designer is it all digital all the digital sets i don't know like the scale it doesn't mean anything but And they all look like they want to screw each other. But none of them have any genitals. And yet, and yet, when, spoiler alert, Jennifer Hudson sings memory at the end and wins the thing, whatever the thing is, she does it with such heart and conviction that I did nearly cry. I, I, I teared up. I welled up. I think it's like I'd been beaten down like in a clockwork orange. My eyes prized apart because you just couldn't look away. I, I don't know how to process this. Everyone should go and see this film. You owe it to yourself. I came out and I felt like I needed to be deprogrammed. It took like 40 minutes to return to reality. I don't think I've ever had a film like that. I think somebody should kill Andrew Lloyd Webber so he can turn in his grave. But again, it's like, that's the, that's what Cats is. It's a weird, weird concept that they've made into a weird, weird film. And at no point has somebody gone, yeah, I'm not sure this is a good idea. I need to lie down. <laughs>